So I'm going to step you through what I did to get Eclipse and the Android SDK installed so that I could write programs for Tony Hillerson's Android class. The first thing I did was go to eclipse.org and click on download Eclipse and I chose to download Eclipse IDE for Java developers and this will download Galileo. I've already downloaded and installed. It's really easy to install once you download so I'm not going to go through that. Once you have installed Eclipse, you then need to go and download the Android SDK. So what I would suggest doing is going to developer.android.com slash SDK slash Eclipse dash ADT HTML and you can always get to the, that link, the Eclipse link by clicking on installing and updating under ADT plugin for Eclipse and read through these installation directions. And the first thing you need to do is uh, download the SDK, and I downloaded Mac OS X Intel, the zip file, and I unzipped this into a folder into my projects directory. And so the, the unzipped folder looks like this, Android SDK Mac 86, and that will be different if you're on Windows, of course, or Linux. Once you've downloaded this, uh, go back and you will follow these instructions. And when you run Eclipse, do right now. The first thing you want to do is go to help and go to install new software. And where what you want to do is click add and grab the URL from this page. Depending on which version of Eclipse you have, Ganymede or Galileo, grab the URL and I chose this one and paste it in here. Now, I, already, I have already installed this, but um, once you've done this, click OK, and it will go ahead and add the software uh, there so that you have the Android um, SDK available to you. Then what you want to do is you want to go into Eclipse, Preferences, choose Android, and then you want to browse to the uh, SDK folder that you, uh, that, we ins that you installed before. So in my case, that was this project's Eclipse Android SDK Mac underscore 86. So if I browse, go into projects, Eclipse, oops, there we go. This is the folder. Now, I've already done this. Once you've done this, um, it's really important that you click Apply and OK, and then go back into Window, click on Android SDK and AVD Manager, go into Available Packages, click here, and Install Selected. Now, I've already installed Selected, so I'm not going to do that again. That will go ahead and download the full SDK, install it into Eclipse, when you've done that, you should be able to go into Installed Packages and see the list of packages that are installed. Then when you go back to Virtual Devices, you should be able to create an AVD. I'm going to create another one called Android 2.1. And now I have virtual devices that I can choose from. Now when I go into Preferences Android, you should see, if you don't immediately right away, go ahead and click Apply, and you should see the list of all the Android targets show up so that when you uh, create a new project, for example, if I want to create a, a, a 1.6 project with Google APIs like Tony did in class, um, I have these options. I'm going to click OK. Now the first time I went to create a new Android project, um, I tried doing new project uh, just like Tony did and I found that I did not have Android project here in the options. So what I ended up doing is choosing new other and then selecting Android project here. And then you get the um, new Android project window uh, just like we saw in the class. So just like Tony did in class, I'm going to choose Simple Flashlight as the project name. I'm going to choose Android 1.6 rather than 1.5 as he did for Flashlight. I'm going to call it Simple Flashlight 
here I'm going to choose com.oreilly.android.flashlight with the package name and just like Tony did I'm going to create the red flash light activity and click finish and it creates my package for me. Alright so I've created my simple flashlight and just like Tony uh, experienced a problem I'm experiencing a problem and I'm guessing it's the same one so I'm going to try doing a project clean clean all projects that did not help so let's see if we can now run this so I'm going to do run as Android application and see what happens it's going to start the emulator Emulators booting up, and we see our flashlight app. Great, so it worked. So hopefully that will help you get started with Eclipse and the Android SDK if you had problems uh, getting the SDK installed into Eclipse or setting the target.